يعني there is much uh, will introduce you in Arabic Rakeen and then I will say the English Rakeen thank you very much إنك يعني still patient معنا he's also very busy man he was also giving a talk at 3 o'clock but he still made himself to us he's, he's someone many of the Sudanese they know him whether through Sheikh Babikir Rumi Kef or whether through what they hear he's, he's an activist يعني ذول نشيط جدا وذول ما شاء الله عليه يعني very active في الكوميونيتي عموما not just the Sudanese ولكن ذاته هو استاذ ورئيس قسم الريليس ستاديز في المدرسه الثانويه في نورث لندن وقام بنشاطات كثيره من ضمنها سيف اور بويز ده حد حيتكلم لنا عنه وهو ذاته يعني انا بتذكر بناتي بيقول لي زي لايك الراب اللي بيعمله اليوم قدر ذاته انوفيتيف وكرييتيف يعني تو ميك الراب اللي بيحبوا الاطفال انه بالراب ده يوصل لهم حاجات عن الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم والدين ويعمل الحاجات الكويسه يا ريت لو كان في وقت كان نخليه يغني لنا بعد ما يخلص يعني عنده كومبينيشن اوف ليدر كوتش تيتشر هيد اوف ديبارتمنت سم ون انجيج وذ ذا يانج سو راكين ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور يور تايم ذا فلور از يورز وثانك يو فيري ماتش اجين فور ابولوجايز وي ابولوجايز فور كيبينج يور لونج ان شاء الله يو ويل جيت اون تايم ثانك يو جو از يور از يور ذا فلور از يور راكين جو اهيد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. إن الله وملائكته يصلي على نبيه على دين آمنا وصلى الله عليه وسلم تسليما. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد على فاتنة وقبل وقعت لما سبق على رسول الحق بحق ولا هذه لا صراطك المستقيم ولا آله حق الحمد لله رب العظيم. أما بعد. First of all, thank you, Professor, for inviting me to come to this very, very important um, comment. And I want to put my my, my bit in as well. I want to focus on a part which is called the school to prison pipeline. And before I start there, I want to say something that the challenge that the Sudanese community is going through now is, is, a, is a challenge for all of the Muslims. It's not just a challenge for the Sudanese community, it's actually a challenge for all of the Muslims. And the reason why I say this is because now, even uh, the Muslim population in prison has more than doubled in the last 10 years. Okay, the Muslim population in prison is nearly doubled in the last 10 years. Okay, and that is by, from the Ministry of Justice. And children, it's possible for children to have one culture at home when they're with their family. So they're at home, they're talking to you at home. You, mashallah, you're talking your Arabic, mashallah, everybody is happy. But then when they're on the streets, when they're in school, it's a totally different culture. It's a very, very different culture. And unfortunately, the youth of today, the biggest culture that they have, that everybody is involved with, everybody is immersed in, the biggest culture right now amongst the youth is like black culture. But unfortunately, a lot of the things that is around what they're calling black culture is like, for example, the music, the music scene. At the moment, the biggest music is like UK drill. It's called UK drill. Unfortunately, all of the lyrics is talking about killing. There's different, different ways on how you can kill people. Okay, and this is the most popular, and you, you, you see them, they have millions of followers. Okay, all this is happening on social media. So even your child can be in your house with you, and you, you think everything is okay, and this is what they're listening to, okay, and this is what they're, 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 they're focused on. Now, again, also, looking at role models, I heard a lot, People talking about role models. Role models is very important, especially for the men, especially for the young boys. Because when there's a look, when there's when there's mother at home and there's father is absent, then what can happen to this young child is that they look for other role models. And the other role models they can find on the streets. And unfortunately, now we have a big problem in this country, which is gang grooming. Before it used to be, uh, we used to talk a lot about sexual grooming of the young people and now it's gang grooming so you find gangs looking for younger and younger people that they can get into the gangs and this is very important um the ministry of justice figures from 2017 which show that nearly two-thirds of prisoners had been excluded from school now as professor told me to do what i'm going to do is tell you some warning signs some signs that parents Okay, that they can look out for, okay, in their children. 
And one of the signs is if your child is getting in problems in school. Very, very important. Take it very seriously. If if the if your if the school it keeps ringing you up and telling you there's some issues with your child, there's poor behaviour. Take it very seriously because this poor behaviour it can lead to continuous exclusion, and it can lead from continuous exclusion it can lead to permanent exclusion. And there's a coalition between permanent exclusion and ending up in prison. They're the importance. Also, when a lot of the people in the gang stuff, it starts from young. Before, people used to talk about secondary schools, but now they're even getting them from primary. And one of the signs is poor behavior. And then also, who they're hanging out with. It's very important for us as the parents, know all of your children's friends. Get to know all of your children's friends. Know who they're spending their time with. Very important. Because if you don't know who your children are spending time with, this is a big problem. Also, spend time talking to your child, one, but secondly, listening to your child. Listening. Um, uh, earlier on, you heard from uh, Sister Ishra, who was saying that she had a good relationship with her parents, which is very important. But for parents, one thing that we need to do is be good listeners. We need to listen to the children, because this is not so bad. This is This is London. These are the London streets. What's going on in the London streets is very different. It's very dangerous out there, extremely dangerous. As you can see, every day, more and more people, young people are getting killed on the streets. And if you look at the names of a majority of the young children being killed in London streets, they're Muslims. You see the names, Abdul Rahman, Abdullah, uh, Muhammad, you will see the names. They're the important. When your children, a leaving school it's important that they need to be home it's important that you know, you need to know exactly where your children are all of the time some people sometimes you, if your children is out of, of the home and it's late eight o'clock past eight o'clock and you don't know where, where they are no 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 maybe uh, 30 years ago that was okay now you need, it's very important that you know where your children are because very dangerous out there also Make sure the child comes straight home. Find out the names, and we said that, of all the family members, of all the children, know who your children's friends are. If they have, also, if you, if you find out that your children have bad company, if you find out that your children's friends, there's problems there, you need to come in between. You need to come in between and actually take your child away from that, from, 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 the, from, a, from a group. And it might even be, you might even have to take the, the, the steps that if your child is getting into a lot of trouble, you might even have to take that child out of that school and put them in another school and start over again. This might be better than leaving them to get into bad company, which can lead into a problem and uh, early death. Also at home, make your time at home, make your home a fun and creative place for them. So even it's even better if they have a place where they can bring their friends and they can they can spend more time at home. It's a, make your home an open place. They want to bring their friends. Let them. It, it'd be better for them to be in your house where you know what's happening than them to be outside where you don't know what's happening. Where are the places now? For example, you'll find the, the Muslim youth. That you will find them in uh, shisha bars, hanging out in shisha bars, hanging out. On, on the street corners, hanging out in, in shopping centres, when before there used to be places like youth centres. Of course, we've lost a lot of the youth centres. Now the children, they're hanging out on the streets. It's very important to keep them in our house. So all of these, and know that there is a different language. Sometimes the children, they can talk to you at home. You, you speak in Arabic at home, alhamdulillah. But it's important for us as the parents to try to keep up to date with what our young people are listening to, um, uh, what they're talking about, learn the culture, learn as much as you can. And even to be honest, if, if, you, if you talk to your children more and listen to them, you can listen out for early signs. And there are other signs, for example, if your child has money, you see your child getting more and more money and you did not give that child money, this is a big warning sign. Where did this money come from? Second thing, if you see your child having uh, like, um, like more than one phone. Okay, this is a big warning sign. 
usually if, if they're selling drugs they have a small following they're very small so they have a normal phone and a very small one this is another warning sign these are signs and then also if your child starts to have new friends that you don't know about they start to hang around with different children that you don't know and they don't want to bring them around you again this is warning signs all of these are, are warning signs and alhamdulillah bil uh, i think that is my my time uh, run up so i think i'll stop there so anything goes from online a bit back to my own now yeah uh, but, but, rakin you are one of the best teacher i can have no question you manage yourself very well but you touch in very good uh, issues really thank you very much Rakin. you mentioned one thing which i can see it here been lots of questions before also the police officer said the same like what you said he said if you, if you find with your son or daughter money or is anything which you think you haven't given it to him and so on now we are the police officer because you were uh, in your meeting now the police officer said always the police officer call them and do what is your advice we hear the police officer already what is your imagine i see i found money or goods or any brands uh, products which are very expensive i didn't give him or her the money uh, what do we do we call the police or we call people like manny who is expert in the council with these things what do we do if i find now someone will ask you that question yes definitely first of all have a, a conversation with your child that's the first thing okay. have a conversation, what is happening you know wh where did you get this from because i didn't give you the money for this have that discussion also definitely call somebody like um, Manny or uh, uh, Abdul Karim and get them involved early as soon as you see something like this okay you need to go and get help like straight away don't 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 leave it and think oh my god it's okay straight away as soon as you see something that looks suspicious if you can get that help that support get it in and also as well even if there's a big gap between the 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 parents and the uh, and the pa the parents and the child it's important to get some young role models okay, okay. and even if even if they've got like some young cousins they've got some young cousins in their family somebody that is younger that can speak to them bring them in early okay, okay. okay. but this is a big warning sign and now well, another question for you i mean you, you're quite popular i can i have seen that with Sheikh babikir in the room cave the kids they like you they like the way you communicate with them particularly with uh with with, with the music with the rap and so on and we know that all our kids if you if you check what they're doing on mobile phone either games or they're listening to music so to what extent do you think music could be part of the solution and the things like you do like the rap which i always wanted and inshallah we will do this to give them uh, support them let's do rap let's do whatever it is do you see that could be one of the issues one of the ways to connect them closer to us by actually let them uh, encourage them to get engaged into maybe learn music or rap or whatever is, do you advise on anything of this uh yeah I, I think music is is very good very very good especially like right about now on poetry especially poetry. poetry is so popular and even we're finding we see lots of young people especially young muslims that have been able to express themselves um uh, with poetry also like your music is very good as i said earlier this music called the UK Drill is probably the most popular music at the moment. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the majority of the lyrics okay, is not good. So, but, 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 but for us to actually, if we could use music, but bring good messages, like what we used to do in the past, that would be great. Out of the, I think, uh, of the young people now that is doing it, I think that, that there's one person called Dave. Some of you might know of Dave. But Dave, he, he, he was someone that had some lyrics that was more, conscious but and, and, and there are I actually he got the got, award i think know. he was given the british award last year yes he was we have so a young brother. Black. yeah yes and there's a young muslim brother that we have his name is khalid sadiq okay. khalid sadiq mashallah but he's someone that he's very popular at the moment and he but he uses very popular music but the message is very good and we could do something we could encourage our children to be making positive messages but the main okay. thing is that we need to keep our children busy and with us. Excellent. Another we question for you quickly, Rakin. Uh, they don't tell us who their friends. You, you have said that, Tamado, Dr. Tamado said that. Many people before you said the same thing. We should know who they hang around with and so on as they 
But the question here, if they don't tell us, and that's quite parents, many parents say that. They don't tell you who are the friends are. Mm. What do we do? Mm. If, if, um, uh, if you have to like, just keep talking to your child, if you keep, have a good relationship with your child, okay, and then and uh, you're very open with them, okay, then afterwards you'll be able to get more out. Because what happens with children as well, that they, if they feel that um, they're going to get into trouble, or they feel that their, their parents won't understand, or their parents are going to go crazy, they won't actually open up. But what we want to have in the house, we want to have like an open relationship where the child you know, can just come and tell you anything. If, you, if we have this relationship with them, then we'll be able to get more out of them. You know, but if they feel that they're going to just get into trouble and we won't understand, this is where the problem comes. So okay, it's just important to keep talking. Would it, yes. About the role model and how to be friendly them and what the things you said, which has been said also before. Yes. Okay, Akin, thank you very much. And Akin, we will add all the links to the yes, Save Boys, all the things. Yes. Thank you very much. And yes. I know this is just the start. And inshallah, we'll come back to you. Thank yes. you very much, Akin. Allah Allah. Thank Allah. you, Akin. Thank you very much. بنحلم بفضاء أوسع بنحلم بزمن أجمل بلاد ميلاد بلاد Love you.